Hey guys, Julie Salant, your intuitive healer for your life and business. Hey, let me just fix this. Welcome back to the channel. I'm thrilled that you are here. I am your intuitive guide. I am a shaman. I am a light worker. I am an animal communicator and I help people reconnect to their hearts, find out what they're here to do in terms of their mission here on earth. And I love what I do. And thank you for coming back to the channel. I really appreciate it. We are growing the channel. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because I'm growing the channel with you guys and your help. So I appreciate it. This is for Life Path 11s, the Master Life Path number 11. You guys know who you are. Um, and you get your Life Path number by basically adding up your birthday, the day, the month, and the year of your birthday. So you add up the day the month, the year, those three components together. And then that number you bring down to the lowest denominator. And 11 is for those of us that are master numbers. We've been reincarnated a lot. We've been around the block and we're here to do big missions here on earth. And we all have with our life path numbers, we all have something that we bring to the table that's unique about us. So anyway, before I get into it, um, just want to do some quick housekeeping. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel, the link's below. I'd really appreciate that because I love doing this for you guys. This is what I do. And I will channel live for you. We'll see what comes through. I've already called in everyone. Um, also, if you want a private reading with me or if you want to work with me, I do offer coaching one-on-one -on -one for a month, three months, and six months. And um, this year, I'm going to be bringing some new fun things. I'm going to be doing some workshops and play shops as well. So I'm super excited excited. So thank you for being here. So let's get to it. Cause I hate people that go on and on in the very beginning, you know, everybody just wants to kind of get to the good stuff. So let's do it. I want to do something different today. Um, I actually have this really cool deck that I've been holding off using. I've only picked it out once or twice. Um, it may not be new to you guys, but it's the work your light Oracle card deck. And I'm not a reader, but these cards are different, right? Um, these cards work in a way where it's kind of a three card spread. It's an activation card, which is who you are at a soul level. And then I go to an inquiry card, which is to ask a question and strengthen your intuition. And then we go to an action card to promote movement on what we've talked about, you know, for activating you and your light and what you're here to do. Of course, I'll also pull some animal cards. I've got three animal cards as well because they always have to chime in and I could never leave them out. But I just think it's just an amazing way to just try something different. And I thought you guys might like it. I'm also gonna try to shorten up my, my videos. I know sometimes it can get pretty long and nobody's got a lot of time during the day. So I wanna keep these short and sweet for you, but also give a lot of information to you, some good content. So let's just do this. How about let's all just connect in together and take a deep breath together. And this is going to be a general channeling message for you. Hopefully this is something that will resonate for you. It's for the collective. If it doesn't, then hopefully the next one will, but let's just go ahead. And I would like you to think about your heart and really just take a deep breath in. And we're going to set the intention that any messages that are here for you will be for you. So just take a deep breath in and think about opening your heart. And I just thank you that we open our heart. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, all the archangels. Let it out. And we are just holding ourselves in the highest vibration for all. I ask that any ancestors come through for the people that are watching right now. Please go ahead and give me any messages that you think that they need. Thank you so much. And I've already called in my archangels and my guides and my team. We are protected all over the place. So let's just start. I've got two activation cards. Okay. So again, these cards are basically to connect you to who you are at a soul level. And the first one, it says it's Anna grandmother of Jesus is sending the light laying foundations for the divine plan. Okay. You can see that, but. So it's almost like the grandmother of Jesus and she's got her arms outstretched and she can see the land be beneath her sending the light laying foundations for the divine plan. So because you're an 11, 
you are extremely empathic. We are the most empathic out of all of the other numbers, right? But what I'm getting is, is that it's not just for you, right? So any, any time that you get messages, a lot of times they're not for you, they're for other people. Just like when I get messages right now for, for you, they're coming through me from spirit, from God, from the divine or from the archangels or your ancestors, but they're for you. They're not for me, right? Many of you have a beautiful light within you and you are not using it because you're afraid to be seen. You don't trust yourself. You don't trust anybody really or anything around you. You kind of look around and think the world is shit right now and I can't trust anybody. And, I'm, and you want to just kind of be a hermit, right? And stay home and not go outside. And I get that, but you've been called here and your soul came here for a reason. And the reason is to shine your light. You have a deep inner knowing, and you definitely have something that you want to bring to the table for others to look at and to think about and to shine with. What you have within you is extremely important, your ancestors are saying. So you need to really start to cultivate that and begin to bring it forth. Now, here's the cool part. They're saying you can bring this any way you want, right? You can write about it in a blog post. You can do a video on it. You can do, um, you know, a play, you can, you can draw, you can do anything. However you express it is up to you, but they really want you to know that you are connected to the divine being for this one. It's Jesus, right? She's the grandmother of Jesus. Sending the light laying foundation. I talk about this with all my clients. You have to have a firm foundation before you can start doing what you want to do. Of course, you can do it the other way too, but I can tell you as someone who's done that way, it doesn't really work out. And when I say foundation, I mean, figure out what your gifts are, start to work with your gifts and then find your soul mission, right? And then start sending out the light. The other activation card you got is awakening. And it says energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. And it shows the beautiful, uh, she's a woman and she's kind of levitating up and there's the moon above her. And that's just like a beautiful picture. Kind of like she's levitating. Um, it's almost like I picture her going up to heaven. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being. Uh, you folks are going to get energetic upgrades and we call them downloads. At least that's what I call them, right? Downloads. Downloads are for basically for you and for the collective. I get downloads all the time for people, for my clients, for myself, for others. And this is uh, energetic information and upgrades to your system. If you think of yourself as a computer, it's like putting in a new system, right? A new operating system, if you will. But it, but it really brings you to be a new way of like, a, you're a new person. Each time you get a download, it's light encoded into you. Your job is to bring that light either to the planet and or to the people. So right now I'm getting downloads saying that there are a bunch of you out there that know that you want to do what I do, right? You want to be able to channel, you want to be able to speak to others in the realms, archangels, angels, your ancestors, you feel that you have the talent to do so. You just don't know how. And they're saying to me, it doesn't take much, but the desire to want to be open to it. So some of you are showing me almost a disconnect. They're showing me someone who, and this has to be for somebody out there, right? They're showing me someone who really wants to be that person and go out and help others. But to do that, first, first of all, you have to learn how to be a channel and secondly, which you can do. And secondly, you need to understand that you're just the vessel, right? Everything gets pushed through you and out. So you have to put your emotions and your ego to the side and your pride and all that stuff. You have to put as much of you out of the way as possible so that spirit can come through and the archangels and angels. 
and all of your ancestors or anybody else's ancestors. And it takes practice like anything else. These cards are activation cards. So for you as being a Master Life Path 11, you've got awakening, energetic downloads, and you've also got Anna Grandmother of Jesus, which is seeing the light. Damn. Laying foundations. Laying foundations and divine plan. It's all part of the divine plan. They keep telling me to tell you. This is part of the divine plan. You going forward is part of the, your divine plan to help others. Um, we also got a couple of inquiry cards. Now, these cards are to strengthen your intuition. So um, the first one you got was the crumbling. And it says, what are you clinging to? And it shows kind of these huge two doorways. And then it, they kind of remind these huge doorways almost going all the way up to heaven. And then when the doorways open at the top, there's it goes up to the light, to the heavens. And then the doors are opening. And then there's like a beautiful land behind the doorways. And I'm thinking like Eden, right? What are you clinging on to that needs to crumble? It could be a persona that you have that no longer serves you. It could be people pleasing tendencies. It could be not having boundaries. It could be just having strength and really wanting to be who you are and you're not able to do so because you don't feel comfortable because you've always worn a mask, right? Sometimes we have to embrace something crumbling so that something new can come to life. The other card was called trust the niggle. And it says, what is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? It's got like three women. And then the background is like power of three is very strong. Do you know when you have a feeling and it doesn't go away? It's almost like, and it could be a good feeling. It doesn't have to be a bad feeling. It could be like, you know, I feel like I'm supposed to do this. And you, but then you're like, like you get busy and you just kind of poo poo it or put it up to the side and a month goes by. And then that same thought comes up again. It's like, I think I should be doing this over here. Nah, I'm really busy, whatever. If it keeps coming up, is that feeling that's what you're supposed to be doing here on earth? Or that's your next step? Or that's what you need to actually crumble and let let go to the wayside so something more beautiful can come through, right? Where are you holding yourself back? They're asking me to ask you this question. Where are you holding yourself back and why? You know, change is really hard sometimes, but it's all about you moving forward and what do you need to move forward? You need confidence. How do you build confidence? You have to practice. They're telling me right now to let you guys know that all you have to do is remember who you are, okay? Because you've been reincarnated many times. You're a master life path 11. So you've done this quite a bit. So just remember who you are. You are a limitless divine spark of spirit here in a 3D world. That's it, right? It's pretty awesome. The last cards I got were the action cards. And the first one is deep replenishment. It says retreat, rest, and be held. And it's showing this woman. And she's almost like, this makes me feel like she's um, at a beautiful lake. And she's picked some flowers. And there's flowers all around her. And it looks just super calm. Deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, and be held. So many of you are not taking care of yourselves. I can't even tell you. You guys need to start sleeping more. You need to start eating better. You need to start exercising. You need to start grounding yourselves. You need to start taking care of yourselves, seriously. You can't do this kind of work or be as empathic and intuitive as you are as an 11 if you don't ground yourself, if you don't take time for yourself. It's really important. And that is part of self-love, right? The other card was break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing and rewriting the future. And this card is showing a woman 
coming out of a cave, but then her ancestors are in the background. And it looks like, but she's come farther than all her ancestors, right? And she's also in color and they're not. Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. That's because you guys have the power to break your ancestral vows that are not serving you and have never served them of poverty, of not having love, of not having passion, of holding back, of dimming your light, of not being who you're supposed to be. Come on, seriously, somebody out there has to be saying yes to this. Breaking the chain means your DNA is in your, your body, everything that your ancestors carried, but you have the power to break the cycles that they had so that it doesn't go forward from you. Break the vow of poverty because you're still carrying that. Break the vow of the money relationship that you have that's not working, right? And the way that you do that is you break the pattern and then you heal and then you move forward and then you've reframed all of life and healed all your ancestors all the way down. You healed them all. So if you were chosen for this and you very much be an 11 to do so, let me know if you need help with this because I can help you with this. It's really important. You carry all the DNA of your ancestors. You don't really realize it. So everything that they did, the good and the bad, you carry, right? I got three animal cards, my favorite. First one is electric ill spirit. Bring your ideas to life. You guys have so many ideas and so much that you want to give to the world, but you're afraid on every level. You're afraid that you can't do it. You'll be laughed at. You're afraid that they won't accept you. You're afraid that you won't be good enough. You're afraid that it's already been done. So why try? The eel spirit flows through the water effortlessly, they're saying to me, effortlessly. Eels, interesting because eels don't, they're not like seen a lot. They hide a lot, but they're powerful, but they kind of hang with their own people, kind of like 11s <laughs> because we're so intense and rich and different. You know, you love us or you hate us. We just come off that way. Eels are this electric eel. Bring your ideas to life. Not a question. That's not a question. That's kind of a do it. The world needs what you have. Please join the collective. Join me. Let's do this together, guys. Then we got frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. The clutter doesn't have to just be like, real like in your closet it can be in your mind right you may have all these great thoughts of the things you want to do but you have no idea how you're going to accomplish them or even if you can accomplish them and frog spirit is saying one thing at a time please one thing at a time focus on one step at a time so you don't get overwhelmed because if you're overwhelmed, you won't even start. And then you don't start and you think that's, not, that's a not a decision, but it really is a decision not to start. Staying in limbo is kind of a decision. And then years can go by where you're in limbo. I'm like, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Meanwhile, five, 10 years goes by. I'm serious. Clear out the clutter of your mind. Stop the bullshit. Stop the excuses and get on the stick and let's go. Let's do this. That's how I feel. Come through come through. Come on, help me out here. I can't do this by myself. I need you guys. Of course, Scarab Beal has to come through. We should start naming Scarab Beal because Scarab Beal wants to play all the damn time, but that's okay because Scarab Beal, I love the Egyptians. I have a past life there as a Pharaoh's daughter. So Scarab's Beatles were very, very renowned, very, they loved them. Magic works through you. As an 11, you're a magical unicorn. Please don't tell anybody else, <laughs> but you are. You're a magical, magical unicorn. 
You can do anything. Do you understand that? I don't think you guys really, really, really understand that. And you know what? I forget myself too sometimes, which is why I always say, you know, even coaches have coaches, even readers have coaches, even intuitives have coaches. I help, I get help all the time from other people because I can't see my own shit and you can't either. You may think you can, and you can see some of it, but not all of it, but especially the hard stuff that you don't want to look at if you have to go deep. You know, it's like you need help. This is the kind of stuff you need help with. When I'm sitting here telling you that I'm telling you from God, from the archangels, from your ancestors, you have something magical within you to give to the world. And you're going, really? I'm like, yes, yes, bitch, yes. Come on, let's go. I don't care where you live. If you're an 11, you have gifts. I don't care what you're doing right now. I don't care if you're doing nine to five, doing your own thing. There's always another level you can go up to. And I want you guys to rise up to do this because this is what your soul agreed to. So this is what I have for you today. It's a lot shorter than normal, but I thought I'd try something different. I really like these cards and I like them in combination with the animal cards because I always have to have my animals. I'll never get away from them, but let me know what you thought of this. If you would like uh, to train with me, if you'd like to do, I have a four week course where we unravel your gifts. You start to learn what they are and we work on your soul mission. The, you know, everything's below in the description box. Um, or if you just want a personal reading, but let me know if you like this, please just jump in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are about these cards and how I presented it today. I'd love to know. It's the first time I've done it and I'm doing it with the 11s because, you know, you guys, I love you guys. You're my peeps. So let me know what you think and I'll see you guys soon. All right. Thanks.